Welcome people to a new update on Hurricane Irma, a dangerous storm that is now approaching Florida, but it's already affecting many places, especially Key West. Irma has re-intensified again to a category 4 hurricane and now has winds of 130 miles per hour, gusting to 160. It has a pressure of 931 millibars, moving slower than before actually, only 6 miles to the northwest. It's currently located at 23.7 degrees north, 81.3 degrees west, about 40 miles north of Verdadero Cuba and about 70 miles south-southeast of Key West, Florida. A storm surge warning is in effect for South Santee River, southward to Jupiter Inlet, North Miami Beach, southward around the Florida Peninsula to the Oklahoma River, Florida Keys and Tampa Bay. Hurricane warning is in effect for Fernandina Beach, southward around the Florida Peninsula to Indian Pass, Florida Keys, Lake Okeechobee, Florida Bay, Cuban provinces of Ciego de Avila, Sancti Espiritus, Villa Clara, Matanzas and La Habana, Andros Island, Bimini and Grand Bahama. Hurricane watch in effect for north of Fernandina Beach to Edisto Beach and tropical storm warning in effect for west of Indian, Indian Pass to the Okaloosa Walton County line, north of Fernandina Beach to South Santee River. Prat practically all the models are agreed that Irma will move to the northwest and maybe taking a north-northwest direction. Also, some model says that Irma will make landfall possibly in Sarasota, Manatee and Pinellas counties in the next 24 hours, while some mother says that Irma will stay offshore and keep traveling to the north-northwest until making landfall between Taylor and Dixie counties in the next 36 hours. Making or not making landfall, this hurricane will bring a lot of destruction, so please don't assume that if the storm will not make landfall, it won't do anything. Irma will pass very very close to Florida and even make and possibly will make landfall and all the structure will be on land uh, possibly bringing tornadoes. Sea surface temperatures are pretty warm around the system around 30 degrees Celsius which is exceptional for Irma to intensify quickly e and even more with its very slow movement uh, but in the, other, in the other hand, the wind shear has increased over the system and could slow down its, intensific its intensification or even weak the storm depending of how strong gets the wind shear as Sirma moves through the Gulf. Meanwhile, we have two more systems in the Atlantic, Hurricane Jose that has started weakening slowly in the open waters in the Atlantic and a disturbance in the south of Cape Verde Islands that has a 30% chance to develop into a tropical depression in the next two days and 60% chance in the next five days. Fortunately, it's expected to move northwestwards without affecting land and the next name on the list is Lee and probably we will see that name storm soon. This has been the update of Hurricane Irma, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. You can also find us on, uh, you can also send us a message on Skype as full 13 with extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chats. Thanks for watching and stay safe.